South Africans just can't get enough of the Bollywood dream and a stage extravaganza brought the signature song and dance of Indian cinema to an appreciative local audience. Let's lift the lid on the jewels of India. The word jewel evokes ideas of sparkle, allure and rare value. All of which describe the performances making up Zubair Khan's latest stage extravaganza. Also known as DJ Zubi, Zubair was wearing his impresario's hat for this production and Karishma met up with him as final preparations were in progress. DJ Zubi, what was your idea behind the show? The idea behind the show was basically bring all the artists, all the culture together. As you can see, we got English band, we got Bollywood band, we got local artists, we got international artists, we got people from Durban, from Canada, from Pakistan, from Johannesburg, I am from Mumbai, you name it. So everybody comes under one banner. And the idea is to give all the crowd, everybody in the crowd, a good time. What are some of the more exciting acts we can look forward to tonight? Today we have uh, belly dancers, Bollywood dancers, fire dancers. An exciting item will be my 10-piece orchestra, plus my international star, Noshad Ali Kawa, who was an Indian Idol finalist as well. So he's down from Paris. It's quite exciting. <laughs> Nashad Ali Kawa had the audience eating out of his hand. Nashad, is this your first time performing in South Africa? This is my five, six time to come here because I love South Africa. Durban, Johannesburg, Cape Town. That's why I came many times here. What has this experience been like for you? Experience is uh, very good. Here people, uh, they like uh, Bollywood music. When I sing in front of public, they, they want to, to sing with me. And we sing Bollywood, half English music, half uh, hip-hop music, and this, this kind of music we, we can do. Vocalist Vandana Naran was a local favorite. It was absolutely fantastic. I thought it was such a fantastic idea. Um, my sister and I are used to doing mashups, so this is something um, not new for us, but it's the first time we're doing it live on stage. Boki Nzime added his signature style to the mix. About mixing the cultures or the two cultures coming together? I think it's very important to mix the cultures up because it, it brings up two different type of cultures into one mix. So that's basically catering for each and every single person that's out there. I think the show was off the chain, like the, the two cultures mixing. Absolutely, I had like a ball. It was very, very nice and it's so cool. And if you thought that hula hoops were just for kids, the Oriental fire dancers proved otherwise. Tonight we were part of Jewels of India too, which was absolutely amazing. I think it was the first time they fused a Western band with an Indian band and we did full-on mashups. We brought some bongo to the stage, uh -huh. some fire, a UK circus, our artists doing hula hoops. So, I mean, things people have never seen before on one stage. Yeah. Absolutely amazing to be a part of this. Lots of fun. I think it's always great to bring together different styles of dance, uh, different people from all around the world getting together on one platform. So we've just come off stage from our fire act and uh, we're still all pumped up. I think we could go on for more. All of us at Oriental Fire and Abby Cooper, our special guest. Happy New Year! Happy New Year guys, enjoy yourself and be safe about it. We're wishing everybody a fantastic year ahead, full of music. Kick off 2017 with a bang, have a great year, it's what you make of it. Peace, love and like, let's just all be fun and happy. Happy New Year! Hope you have an amazing year and 2017 is gonna rock.